Hey folks, I'm so excited to be coming to you today uh, in the Public Speaking Tips group. I was about to say live, it's live for us, but you're not seeing it right now, but you are seeing it right now. The joys of technology. And what we wanted to do is we've had another breakthrough, I suppose. We just keep getting more and more clarity on A, what it is we do, and B, how it is we give value to you guys, uh, our audience, our community, our clients, our friends, our colleagues. And we're just so excited that we've, we've taken the next step, I suppose, in the Public Speaking Institute, yes. being able to identify uh, really more and more about the essence of what we do, Jan. So I'll give you the floor to introduce that. Yeah, thanks, Rose. Um, what, one of the things that's become apparent with uh, the conversations that I've been lucky enough to have with a lot of new members and existing members of the group um, is, uh, getting to the core of what it means for, for people when, when they're getting into business, when they're trying to formulate their message and what they're trying to understand uh, about what they have to offer and you know, what, what, that can go, what that can mean to get out to the greater community, the people that they're born to serve, as I uh, say to a lot of people. And um, you know, that's, that's what Fraser and I are continually are checking in with ourselves um, with how we can give value to the people that we're born to serve. And we consider that to be you guys that are trying to find your way to get your message, uh, to clarify your message and to get it out there. Um, and so what, what, we've, uh, what we've discovered um, kind of through a process, been an elongated yet um, a process that's just been driving in the same direction is what we've discovered is that the, the people that are in a business that is successful, um, they are a reflection of their brand. In fact, you, I mean, we've, today, we've, we've boiled it down even deeper that they are their brand, that there is almost literally no separation. And, and, and so when we, when we discovered that, then we started to chase down this rabbit of what does that mean? And, you know, does that work also? Because you, you can have a great idea. I think this is one of the things with any business. You can have an idea, but it could just be you know your brain betraying you or something like that. And so we decided, all right, let's chase this rabbit down. And you know, we, we got in front of the whiteboard. We've actually got some stuff here because we wanted to take you a little bit through this process of, of what we went through um, because I think it's going to be really important not only for uh, processes within your business, but also to get an understanding of how all this can help you as far as you know, building your message and, and aligning yourself with your brand and making sure that they're all um, aligned, congruent and moving in the same direction. Yeah, and we know that a lot of you guys, you know, some of the people we started talking about, Richard Branson and Bill Gates and, and people who really embody their brand are at the other end of this journey from where most of us are. So everything they do is now filtering through the conglomerate underneath yes. them. Most of us start off as solos, as, as partnerships. Um, we don't have that conglomerate yet. It's still really important because what you are as your business and your brand aren't two different things. They are the same things. What you have as your why, why you do this and why you're out there, most of you I know in this group are, are coaches and consultants and helping and, and helping people get what they want. What's your why? What's your business? What's your personal brand? How are you representing yourself to the world? Be it the way that you dress, the way that you talk, the values and things that you bring in, which we've got down here, the image that you are putting forward, the drive that you have and the service that you give, as I touched on before, are all coming out of you. But they're also your brand. And that's what people are buying from you. Yeah, they're buying whatever your business is because that's where your service comes from. But, you know, Jan and I embody what the Public Speaking Institute is about. It's driven from our values and what we believe about communication and public speaking. And if we just allow the brand to do the talking and whenever we show up wearing shorts and t-shirts or don't care or you know swearing at you or spitting, then we're not matching, we start to taint the brand of the Public Speaking Institute. And as most of you will know, you are such inextricably linked with your business. Your brand and your business brand are actually pretty much the yin and the yang of the same symbol. They're not these two distinctly different things. 
So as we started discussing all this sort of stuff, we realised that the conversations that Jan's having definitely with a lot of you with public speaking tips and the conversations I'm having with, with authors and members of networking groups and, and B&I chapters that I'm working with is that this is what we're trying to get out there. That you need to live and embody, but also present your brand. Now, what Jan's finding in his conversations is that you guys want to get out there and help. You've got a message you want to share. You're not sure what that message is, and you're not really sure who you're sharing it with either. Now, that's a major issue because public speaking is about you knowing what you're talking about and knowing that you've got people who want to hear what you're talking about. So without those two things, you're running into a, a, a wall before you even start. And it's amazing when people approach us about public speaking, then this is actually the conversation we're, we're sort of skipping back to, that yeah. you can't public speak until you've got these things. And Jan, I know you've been having these conversations with people, and I'd love to know a little bit more about what you're finding is, is holding those people back, I suppose, before we get into how this works in a little bit more depth. Yeah, cool, thanks, Rose. And so, so well said, and what we discovered here is that all of these things, as Fraser said, are inextricably linked, like that everything affects the other thing. And, you know, like, like you spoke about before, that, uh, you know, rocking up in thongs and a tank top, that could work if that's uh, what's giving value uh, with your business. Um, for us, as you can see with our shirts, we've made a decision for, uh, the, for the image and everything like that. That's the image that we want to create. But to move forward on uh, what Fraser's asked about, the, where a lot of people are at is uh, they're at a point that they, they know two things very clearly. They know that they want to go out there and share a message and they want to help people. Those, those are the two main places. And when we dive deeper on that, when I ask the questions, there's not much more behind that. And so, so what we've, where the conversations go from here is actually getting an understanding of, okay, what is it that you really care for when, when I'm talking to the person on the phone or over Skype? Is what do you care about? Because then when you know what you care about, and what you are a reflection of, what your values are, then we can start to go, okay, now we've got an idea of, I guess, a pool of the ideas that are behind that, essentially kind of like the values. Then we get to a point of, okay, now we can start to think of who's the kind of audience that would actually be aligned with that kind of idea, with that kind of message. And as we start to put those things together, now we're starting to get an idea of what we have to offer as a speaker, as an emerging thought leader, hopefully, as a specialist in our ideas and our thoughts and our beliefs, and then we can actually start to help people. Well, it makes your journey so much quicker, more profitable, effortless, yeah. when you have a clear message and you have a clear audience. Suddenly it's not trying to be everything to everybody, yes. which means you're nothing to nobody, as a lot of us here. So what we did discover, guys, when we started going into this a little bit deeper is, and this lines up perfectly with something that Simon Sinek, S-I-N-E-K, you can Google him and look for his yes. um, uh, um, TED Talk or um, Google him and, and get his uh, YouTube on why or, or leaders, you'll find basically this. But we've taken it specifically to what we're talking about and when we realise those two things are aligned, that's when you generally know you're onto a good idea. Yeah. When you line what you're thinking up with someone like Simon Sinek or um, you know, anyone along those lines who's proven, you know you're onto a winner. And that's what we've realised, because what we've realised is this is what we're all out there doing. A lot of us are out there spruiking our product. This is what we do, this is the problem we solve, this is how we go about it, this is the package, this is the cost, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What, 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 what? Our brand is a little bit around, is a little bit deeper than that because it's what we stand for and it's what the business is and it's the orange and it's the black and it's the type font and it's the things that the Public Speaking Institute is kind of slightly larger than that, uh, but even a little more niche if we can go that way. But what we've realised is it's this one, guys, that's important because people buy from people. They need to know your why, which means the most important decision you make about whether you take our top of the line package for all this public speaking stuff isn't that you necessarily want the package. It's not that you necessarily like or trust the Speaking Institute. 
It's that you get what Yarn and I are on about. Yep. What drives us and why we're in this space and that we're connecting with you. So a little bit back to front, but where that's got to start, it's got to start with you. Who you are, what you're representing, what you're being, all that stuff which is internal, which is all part of your personal brand, but it's in, really intrinsic within you. Because when you go out to that next level, once people get this and like this, you start to move out to that brand level. That's the next stage out. It's the front that you're putting up. It's the business or the personal brand, which are linked in what you do. Then we get out to the product. Because if we come at you with who we are, what we stand for, you get on board or you get off really quickly. And that's okay either way. So we deal with the people who get on board with what Jan and I believe and what we're here to serve. Then we start talking to you about the brand. Then we say, here's our product that you can come and learn A, B and C, which will help you with your problem. So once you can start to get to the bottom of that conversation, you are your brand, then you start to really make progress forward, Jan. Spot on. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> so guys, as I probably just jumped in and out of shot, if you are looking for this, if this conversation is making sense, but you don't know what the answers are, yeah then you need to click on the link below and get in touch so that we can start this process because there's no good being in the group, there's no good coming at us and saying, I need help with my public speaking, how do I do A, B and C, how do I stand? Because if you don't have something that does all of this first, yeah. then all of that's a bit like putting a cherry on a cupcake when there is no cupcake. You just have a cherry on a table. What we need to give you is that foundation of this and Jan's been having some wonderful conversations with the guys in this group. So jump down below, we've got a document that'll help you out and we'll also organise conversations as we go forward so that you can start to unpack this and really start to be the sort of speaker that you're looking for. So excited. Yeah, no, it's good stuff. No, you said it, you said it all, hasn't it? That's right. Fantastic guys, click below, we look forward to talking to you soon.